So this video is about to have an awkward start. So I've really been shying away from YouTube and just posting and stuff like that because honestly, things have been messy, but messy in all the right ways. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Like I think that I've gotten caught up in the hype of YouTube and other creators who have like these perfectly um, curated lives. I mean, I don't, I don't know how people's lives are together because I cannot figure it out. Um, I'm sitting here just looking at him and he's perfect. Like you are everything to me. And I started this channel to share my journey, to share my life, to share my experience. And I feel like I've gotten so far away from that and I haven't been showing up and doing that because I feel like, oh, I have to, you know, do videos on a camera and I have to do X, Y, and Z. And I mean, like, yeah, I'm a photographer, I'm a content creator, but sometimes the best parts of life happen in the moment. And I'm realizing, especially with him, like, I am missing out on recording and sharing so much of his growth and development because I'm so focused on like, oh, this part of my house is a mess or whatever, whatever. So y'all are about to get this stuff straight and unfiltered from me. Um, I really don't care how anybody feels about it or if people, you know, are looking for perfection. Like I want to show people that like perfection and like balance and all that kind of stuff. Like it's not, it's, it's a myth, right? It's what you make of it. It's what you create. And so... Y'all about to see all of this cuteness, all of my baby, all of my messy house, all of my wig sliding and doing all kind of weird things. Like y'all are gonna see that and it is what it is. And I'm gonna rock with my little iPhone camera and we just gonna call it a day, right? Right, my love? Right? Do you wanna smile? Yeah. I love you. I love you so much. Yeah, it is what it is, guys. We have to live authentically. We have to live with purpose and with intention. And I'm tired. Like, I'm tired of not showing up. I'm tired of not showing my face. I'm tired of, you know, this perfection and just this model of life that is not realistic, right? So let's do this thing. Welcome back to YouTube 2.0 from Kay's iPhone. I um need to change baby's diaper. And... I don't know. I just feel like recording today because he does so many cool things. Oh gosh, y'all have to see this. This is a weird angle. I don't know how to turn my camera around when I'm trying to show something else. We'll see. So, um, y'all know I cloth diaper and I love cloth diapering, but every time I cloth diaper, I have to put the diaper together because I hate laundry. And so I'll wash all the diapers, but then forget to stuff them. And so then I have to like go get the pieces. So like I have to get the actual diaper, I have a diaper. And then I have to come over to the bin where everything is supposed to be to get the inserts to put the whole diaper together. So yeah, that's where we're at. I think I'm at that level of motherhood, stuffing a diaper real quick to change him. But I think I'm at this level of motherhood where um, I'm in like this really cool groove of like, I got this, like feeling I just feel like really confident. Yeah, yeah. Am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? Do you like the work that I'm doing? Huh? So I feel like I'm like in this space where, I'm gonna get the wipes. I'm in this space where I'm doing a good job, right? And I feel like I'm in a good groove. I feel like, um, I don't know. I just feel like confident in where I am right now. But it's also like, I really don't care. Like, I'm not focused so much on like, what are the rules and what are the standards? And like, what is everybody else's baby doing? And um, my glasses are doing some kind of weird thing. Um, like, you know, what are other babies doing? And what do other kids his age do and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just in this space. And I've always been like this. Like, I've lived this my whole pregnancy where, you know, I went to the doctor when I felt like it and, you know, whatever. And so it's like, I feel like I'm, I'm transitioning back to a space where I'm just trusting my intuition and trusting that I got this, you know, and that I'm well equipped to do what I need to do to take care of my kid because he's mine. And I feel like I know him well enough. I've learned him well enough. And I feel like that mother's mom intuition, whatever it is, like it's in like full effect. And so I'm going to change you. Is that okay? So yeah, I'm feeling really positive and confident about where I am right now. And so um, 
just to give you guys like a little update, we are, so I was trying to be a cinematographer and I messed up the camera angle or whatever, but um, we are officially at five months, which is really exciting. And um, you pooped, you pooped before. All right, so yeah, we're at officially um, five months and so many fun things are happening. I'm gonna try to show you guys that he is um, pushing up and trying to sit up on his own. And it's just really exciting because he's like really alert now. Like he's paying a lot, he's like a lot of attention. He's paying attention. Um, he's recognizing when we're calling him. I'm almost done. Good job. Thank you so much for letting me change you. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, look. Um, so yeah, he's doing a lot of really cool things though. He's reaching for food. Maybe I'll show some clips. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see like all his little developmental milestones in real time. Um, but I don't even know when I'm going to post this video. So he might be during near seven months by the time I post this. I don't know. But he's doing some really amazing things. And I'm excited. Ah. I'm really excited about um, just how much he's growing, how much he's learning. Yes. You guys see he loves to talk so that's something that five months has brought he loves to talk and be part of the conversation um he does not like being left out so we're gonna let you in so yeah um he's doing a lot of talking though and it's just gonna be funny because you guys will see the three month update and then i'll officially do i'm hoping i officially can do a six month update every time i move i pull the sheet off the bed but hey guys this is real life you know so it is what it is um, something that has frustrated me recently has been the fact that um, I hired a somebody to come and clean the house, which is so funny because I've never had like a some like a housekeeper or whatever. And so I hired somebody and the person didn't come, which was really frustrating. Um, that I something happened to and she wasn't able to make it, but still it was just like, man, the one time that I you know wanted to practice self care by getting my house in order, it fell through. So. We'll see if this house gets itself in order at some point. But now we have to throw away the diaper. Oh, see, that's something else that's come. His little tantrums. And it's so funny because <clears throat> his tantrums actually don't bother me. I know that tantrums, like I know a lot of people like try to stop their kids from having tantrums and stuff like that. But I believe that he should be able to express himself. And just like I roll my eyes or I have an attitude about something or whatever, he's going to do it too. And so... um. I think it's just all about like us figuring out like what the boundaries are. Hey, 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 big boy, come here, 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 get my finger, get my finger here, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. Yay! Come on. Yay! Come on. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. Come here, handsome. Come on. <laughs> You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. You're able to turn around and stuff. This is in the bed. I can only imagine how good you can do on the floor. Yes. <laughs> hey, boy. You like my finger? You like my finger? 
You are so smart and handsome. I am loving you. There you go. Keep going. You're almost here. You're almost here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job. Good job. This really gets me him being able to like turn around and move and stuff. Like I can't believe he's so mobile. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. You're doing so good. I love you. You're doing such a good job. Baby King sees me working so often that he um tries to type all over my computer. I hope he doesn't let me out. Let's, let's stop this. Let's stop. Let's not do that. Okay. How can I get him out of the search bar? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, it's not gonna work. So it doesn't matter whether the <laughs> thing is in there or not. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I am his like personal bed, lounge, whatever. I feel like I'm always in a constant state of feeding him or a constant state of um, feeding him or just being his pillow or something. I love it though. I love these moments. I live for this, but it's just so funny. Like you, it, there used to be a lap, um, there used to be a laptop in my lap and now there's a baby in my lap and it's just crazy how life happens. So yeah. Okay, sis, so I'm battling a little bit of a, I think it's a clogged duct, and that's super frustrating. I've already had mastitis once um, since breastfeeding, and so right now, baby is sleeping while trying to sleep, but um, I am super frustrated because I've had mastitis before, and it was not fun. I don't know why I'm looking over here when the camera's clearly over there, but um, yeah, mastitis was not fun, and now I'm sitting up here, and my breast is clogged, and I don't know what to do. I have already gone in the shower. I've been in the shower um, running warm water over it. Um, I've been breastfeeding, um, you know, like consistently. I don't know what happened. I don't even know how my duct got clogged. But your girl is stressed because I am not trying to have mastitis again. Like, that was the most painful-ish I've ever been through in my life. So I'm just like, something needs to something needs to shake because your girl cannot go through that again. Um, so I don't know. I think I think I might have to, like, go to the Wellstar or something so they can give me something real quick before it gets out of control. Because, like, the last thing I want to happen is for me to wait too late. Um, to you know get any treatment or um, get the antibiotics because this mess hurts like I mean it doesn't hurt right now but like I feel the knot I, f I mean and I feel it like going down my breast but ciao oh man and it's so funny because a lot of things don't get to me like a lot of things have not been like really bothering me or I haven't been pressed by much but Things that come to like my health and, and especially like if I, if it's causing me pain, that takes me out of character so quick. Like I can deal with the crying. I can deal with changing diapers, my dog. Like I can deal with all kind of crazy stuff. But as soon as like I feel a little bit of pain, your girl is like, what the heck? Like I'm freaking out. So yeah, girl, I need to figure this out because I don't got time. I don't know why my eyes get so big when I be like over it, whatever. No beans. Be quiet. No cheese. You want fresh tomato salsa? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't want fajita veggies. It's okay. Roasted chili corn salsa? No, thank you. Wait, wait. Roasted chili corn salsa? Yes. We love DoorDash. You guys should sponsor us. Mm. <laughs> or by plan. Or by plan. Mexican Coca Cola. They don't have gluten free wrap. Uh, so let's go back. Roasted chili, romaine so lettuce. So guys, I did the dangle feeding method. I think that you you said it helped. You said that you felt like it went down. Yeah. So it seems like the clawed part of my duct or the clawed milk is coming down. Ooh, do you want a bowl or a salad? Ooh, a bowl and a salad. No, I want a bowl. And we're ordering DoorDash because we forgot to cook. Oh, was that you or him? You're so childish. <laughs> you know it wasn't me. <laughs> T 
Beyonce's order was messed up. Of course. Did you get a smile? Mm -hmm.